ओके वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर दैट्स अबाउट द प्राइम कोर्ट प्राइम कोर्ट इज एक्चुअली द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लो विस्कासिटी और लो विस्कस कट बैक एसफॉल्ट ऑन दी एब्जॉर्बेंट सर्कल सरफेस लाइक एग्रीगेट बेस कोर्स सो लेट मी राइट डाउन दिस डेफिनेशन इट इज द एप्लीकेशन of low viscosity cut back bitumen on the absorbent surface what do you mean by absorbent surface aggregate abc aggregate base course on which the binder layer is placed now the question is about the binding layer binder layer binder layer mean your hard mix asphalt this is the definition now You see, it is the application of low viscosity cut back salt on the absorbent surface, like aggregate base course, on which the binding layer is placed. Now the question arises that why we are going to apply this prime coat. Now let me give you its answer. What is the function? First function of this one is fill surface voids. You know this aggregate base course is the unbounded. on the top surface there are some voids and those voids are filled by this material this i have shown over in the green line you see this green line green line are actually showing that the voids are filled with this material second one promotes bonding between the asphalt layer and aggregate base course abc third one you see when we have applied this one the due to capillary action water is going to rise and it reaching up to the uh, my asphaltic layer so, so it is going to block the capillary action capillary act action blocking mean no water is no more able to rise up to the asphaltic surface so, so that's why this known as a blocking the capillary action fourth one you know this unbounded material there are some fines material when these fines material are coated with this prime coat then they are going to be stabilized with the surface so that's why we can see the stabilize the fines by coating them as as these functions are completed so from this we can say that our aggregate base core surface is in the protected form aggregate base core surface is now protected so this is the function of uh, this material known as the prime coat now in order to next after writing this function we will have to go that how this function will work how this material will have to behave that uh, this function should be carried out properly so, so now let me tell you about those conditions so, so first condition is this material should penetrate a to 10 mm in the granular surface
you see this is the granular surface this one aggregate you see i have draw down this green line this green line has shown that it has been penetrated to its lower surface so to this one this is the penetration so it should penetrate at least 8 to 10 mm into the granular surface second condition because today i have applied and then some time is given that it should be penetrated or it had reached to the required satisfactory level of satisfactory so then duration is required for its proper factory that is 48 hours time required third one sometimes at the time of application sometimes we have certain places where the amount is applied more than the requirement then there is no need to be panic we can remove it we will just by using the broting by sand where we are very excess material where material is going to form ponding there we are using this so keep this in mind ponding mean you know this aggregate base core surface is not absolute at the level sometime may be some bumps over there we are applying this material at the time of application we have seen at certain condition that pond has formed there we will put some sand and then it will be blotted by sand then we can reach to this required level so so these are the three conditions okay, for its proper function after this condition now i will tell you that what is the material to be used in the prime coat material very important property whatever the discussion we have done over here now we are coming to the conclusion that what is the material because first thing we say low viscosity low viscosity material from this low viscosity material as per asto m82 we have the different grades mc30 mc70 mc250 mc800 mc3000 these are the different grades of the medium curing cut back is part so from this list of this material given as per asto m82 we are going to select this material which i have clouded so from here you can say that in mostly particularly in our arabic region we are using mc70 as prime coat one thing i want to tell you in some regions in the world this material is not being applied and maybe in some regions some other grade may be used but here what i am using this mc70 is being mostly used in our gulf region but in pakistan in india in other country you will have to follow your particular specification that where and which type of the material is being used as a prime coat or it is being used or not you will have to see your technical specification in order to get this answer but as per by my requirement in the gulf region we are using mc70 as a prime coat material now after the selection of this material now we will come to know that how we are going to apply this and where we are going to apply this for this first condition should not be applied in bad weather
All of you are engineers. You know what's the bad weather? Just for your introduction, mean rain, storm, and fog. This is the bad weather. Third one, second one, sorry. We should know its rate of application. Rate of application means how much this low viscosity bitumen material we have to apply. 0 0.25, 0 0.5 kilogram per meter square. It's not hard and fast rule because you will have to follow the specification. Some places maybe it is used more, some places maybe it is used less. So that's why it mostly we are using in this range. I have also seen one specification. There it was written its value should be 0.35 up to 1 kilogram per meter square. So that's why I say it's not a hard and fast rule. You will have to see what is your technical specification for the project. What is mentioned over here that how much bitumen, uh, sorry, this low viscosity bitumen is required in order to find our prime coat layer. Third one, it's applied by distributor. Fourth, very important, temperature. Its range of acceptable range of temperature is 65 to 80 Celsius. Sixty-five to eighty Celsius. Within this range, there should be temperature when it's been applied on the surface. Fifth one. That surface should be well clean. You know, this uh, aggregate base core surface. There may be some too much fine particle over this one and uh, we have to clean the surface. So that's why we are going to get good rate of application, good function when the surface is clean. So that's why surface should be clean. On which this material is being applied. So, so at the last, <coughs> Whatever we have uh, studied over here, its rate of application, you know, we are continuously applying on this one. It, now we want to know that how much this bitumen has been applied. So, so its rate of application <coughs> can be determined by the method known as ASHTO. ASTMD Now we have to determine the rate of application It is determined by ASTM 2995 method so here you will have to study the standard. What standards say that how we have to determine it. And thank you very much for seeing this. If you have any technical issue, you can ask any question to me. Thank you.